morning, everybody. Welcome to our first virtual celebration of excellence, and I hope our last virtual celebration of excellence, to be honest with you. It's funny, it was just one year ago today we were here at the conference center celebrating our Teacher of the Year, and little did we know that that would be our last day of school for our students until August 13th. But we're here today to recognize our partners in education, our parent and guardian leaders, and teachers of the year. Thank you to the Lambert High School Orchestra for providing today's pre-event music. My name is Jeff Bearden. I'm the very proud superintendent of Forsyth County Schools. For two decades, we have held this annual event in partnership with Northside Hospital Forsyth and the Forsyth County Chamber. In prior years, participants were limited based on the physical location of where the event was being held. This year, our celebration includes viewing parties worldwide. So thank you for joining us at your physically distant spot, and please be sure to interact with us today in the chat feature on Arena. And if you don't mind, please share where you're watching from this morning. To our partners in education that are watching, thank you for supporting our schools, teachers, and staff, and providing many opportunities for our students to lead and succeed especially this school year. Your dedication to our students, especially when schools closed last spring and families were struggling with food and necessities, your support is greatly appreciated. Although we're not together for you to stand to be recognized, we thank you and invite our event attendees to use the chat feature to give shout outs to our partners in education. An extension of our successful Partners in Education program is the Forsyth County Education Foundation. They have provided grants to our schools for five years now. We were unable to provide grants during the pandemic, but have our ducks in a row to award grants this fall. Our annual fundraiser, the Duck Dive for Education, ends this month, and our Forsyth County duck is now joining us. For only $10, you can virtually adopt a duck for a chance to win $10,000. 100% of the duck adoptions go to grants to support our students. Please visit our website to adopt your duck and make a big splash for education. In addition to our partners and foundation, I would also like to recognize and thank our parent guardian leaders that serve on our local school councils, our PTAs, and PTOs. I know our close to 7,000 Forsyth County School staff members would agree with me. We're grateful for your support, your engagement, and this year, your encouragement, especially when face-to-face -face learning at school moved to virtual learning from home. And I have to tell you, our parents did an awesome job last spring helping their children navigate virtual learning. I also want to take a moment to recognize and thank all members of Forsyth County School staff. It has been an interesting 12 months. Later in the program, we will recognize our teachers of the year who represent those that work in the classroom. I cannot say enough about our teachers and how they've stepped up in a way like never before. They have been flexible, they have been adaptable, and they've always had a willingness to pivot. In fact, we have used the word pivot so many times over the last 12 months but our staff has always been prepared to pivot at a moment's notice. I would also like to recognize our Employee of the Month winners, representing our certified and classified staff that support our classroom teachers. It is now my pleasure to introduce Derek Brooks, Chair-Elect of the Forsyth County Chamber. Derek. I'm Derek Brooks. Uh, I'm chair-elect of the Forsyth County Chamber. I'm also a, uh, a proud product of the Forsyth County school system. I graduated from uh, South Forsyth where I met my wife way back in the, uh, in the 1900s, we'll just say. Um, so Dr. Bearden mentioned some in individuals that uh, will be recognizing today, but we also need to recognize our school system as a whole. There is an impressive list of accomplishments that I'd like to read. Um, in Metro Atlanta and among uh, large school districts, 
for South County Schools has the highest CCR PI score, the highest county graduation rate at 96%, the highest ACT score, the highest SAT score, and the highest financial efficiency rating, five out of five stars. We also need to celebrate that 52% of adults in Forsyth County have a, a bachelor's degree compared to 31% of adults in Georgia. These statistics that any county in the nation would desire to have do not happen by accident. They happen because of individuals participating in the event that we're holding today, especially because of those partnerships between the chamber and the business community and our schools. And despite very challenging times, they continue to grow uh, creating a thriving economy that provides a high quality of life for all Forsyth County citizens. Since we're focused on education today, I'd like to share a resource we created for our students to help them learn what the Forsyth County Chamber is and what we do. continue to strengthen is through Forward Forsyth. A partnership between the Forsyth County Government, the Forsyth County Schools, Forsyth County's Development Authority, Forsyth County's Higher Education Institutions, and the Chamber of Commerce. Forward, for stri Forward Forsyth strives to promote superior quality of life in the community by actively engaging in economic development efforts. As the Chamber helps businesses to thrive, we also encourage them to form partnerships with the school system. Among these community partners engaging in educational efforts are today's sponsors. I'd like to recognize them now. Today's title sponsor is Northside Hospital for Scythe. Entertainment sponsor is Georgia Power. Platinum sponsor is Georgia United Credit Union. Award sponsor, Publix. Automotive sponsor, Andine Chevrolet. Gold sponsors, Brandywine Printing and Forte Data Systems. Silver sponsors, Fi Fountain Financial Advisors. Bronze Sponsors, River Valley Ingredients, the United Way, Central EMS, Carson Developments, and Vanguard Solutions. And our Patron Sponsors, the Carter Treatment Center, Casa Nueva Italian Restaurant, Hacienda, Holiday Inn Express, and Crumble Cookies. I'd like to thank our Platinum Sponsor, Georgia United Credit Union, for their continued support of this event. Georgia United Credit Union takes great pride in being an active and responsible member of the communities that they serve in. They believe that giving back reflects the credit union philosophy of people helping people. The video you are about to see is made possible by you, only through your commitment to exceptional service. Only by your heroic efforts are we able to bring a positive impact to member experience day in and day out. Only by your talent, innovation, and flawless execution. Your generous heart and compassionate soul compels you to make a difference. Only through your passion and genuine care for people and community. You are a difference maker. Together, this team makes greatness possible. The video you are about to see is made possible by you because we are united. There's you and all the things you can accomplish on your own. Then there's you with us and all that we can accomplish together. Who you turn to matters when it comes to your money. At Georgia United Credit Union, we put our members at the center of everything we do. We are dedicated to helping you meet your financial goals. 
Our members have the confidence of knowing that we provide products, services and benefits that are simple, straightforward and personalized to their needs. Which means we offer solutions for every stage of life, such as free checking that pays interest, low-rate vehicle loans, a credit card with cashback rewards, and home loan products to make Home Sweet Home happen. Georgia United provides you with the freedom to bank how and when you want. Whether you prefer to visit a branch, speak on the phone, or use our convenient mobile app, you can expect exceptional service when you need it. At the end of the day, we have your back. As your financial partner, we consistently exceed expectations and create meaningful relationships to build trust that will last across future generations. We know that the more you succeed, the more our entire community benefits. We are passionate about improving our communities through a variety of local programs. We believe that effective community impact requires a combination of financial education, donations, and volunteerism. It's about neighbors uniting with neighbors to reach a common goal. At Georgia United, our members and communities are at the core of everything we do, and it shows. That's what makes us so much more than a bank. We are united. Georgia United Credit Union. Join us. I'd also like to thank all the businesses and organizations who donated uh, gifts for our Teachers of the Year today. There's a, there's a detailed list of these prizes on the website where you're streaming uh, this event. Additionally, uh, we're grateful for the local, state, and federally elected officials that support our schools, our chamber, and our community. Our community could not have a more dedicated um, group of servants that genuinely care about the economic future and prosperity of Forsyth County. We got to see that firsthand this past year. Our title sponsor today is Northside Hospital for Scythe, and even from a distance, Northside's response to the needs of our community were nothing short of amazing. Northside Hospital for Scythe is, was a pillar of strength that helped all of us feel safer, more confident, and more at home in an uncertain world. Our Northside campus was recently recognized as one of the world's best hospitals in 2021. The world's. The hospitals named in this list, which covers 25 countries, were chosen for their consistent excellence. What an amazing honor for this partner of ours and an outstanding benefit for all of us who reside in Forsyth County. Northside Hospital Forsyth has been a driving force behind our community's well-being, and we are so proud and honored to have them take care of us. It's my pleasure now to introduce Lynn Jackson, Chief Operating, Actor, uh, Chief Operating Officer at Northside Hospital Forsyth. Today's title sponsor for our spot. <laughs> Let me just read some stuff. Lynn, why don't you come tell them about Northside for Side? Take this. Thank you, Derek. That you took that off, and I got to put that on. That might be one of the best things that's happened to me this week. Ah. Uh, you all know how tempting that is for me. Oh, let me use a little bit of hand sanitizer, right? So nice to see as many of you as in the room, but, uh, you know, Northside Hospital has been a proud sponsor of the Celebration of Excellence program now for almost 20 years. I'm going to take this off. How about that? Um, ooh, that feels good, doesn't it? Um, we typically be together today in honor of our teachers. But sadly, our current circumstances have forced us to reconfigure virtually. We seem to be getting pretty good at that. And though we're not able to gather in person to celebrate all of our Teachers of the Year nominees, we want to recognize the special place that our 2021 Teachers of the Year celebration has in our archives. One year ago, as Dr. Bearden pointed out, we were gathered over 500 strong in one room together in what actually marked the very last large public gathering in our community. Well, we now went out with a bang, that's for sure. Ironically, I opened my presentation last year by saying that you all probably expected me to show up in a hazmat suit. Little did I know I would spend the next 12 months desperately trying to obtain adequate supplies of hazmat 
and other personal protective equipment for, in order for our hospital staff to protect, practice safely as they cared for countless patients who presented at our hospital for their care. Last year we provided, like much, much like every year, we provided small bottles of hand sanitizer on your tables for personal use. But for the first time in almost two decades of this practice, we had little leftovers after the gathering. That impending sense of need was already descending upon us, but little did we know what challenges would lie ahead for us on that day one year ago. Much like today, we don't know what lies ahead of us now, right? But what we do know is that now we're braver than we imagine, stronger than we seem, smarter than we think, and loved and admired more than we know. That's what today is really about, to not only honor our teachers, but to show them and help them understand that they make a lasting impression on the lives of their students. Now more than ever, teachers, you're really a role model for your students in your resilience, your passion, your strength, as you've navigated these unprecedented challenges. What you're doing is literally making history. Let's face it, these last 12 hard months, you and your colleagues have had to transition from your normal teaching practice to remote learning. You've set up new lesson plans, devised and recorded instructional videos, preparing materials, and finding new ways to check on, in on your and connect with your students. And all of you have done this while ch juggling the effects of COVID-19 on your family and your personal lives as well. As a grandparent, I've seen firsthand the challenges you've faced. I certainly couldn't homeschool anybody. Luckily, I haven't had to. Um, as a hospital administrator, I've seen our staff that's been in a similar role wading through the ever-changing torrent of chaos that's come on the heels of the pandemic. But you, like the hospital teams, have achieved great things despite the hardships. I've been hearing many stories from parents and students about your incredible efforts. You know, the great things that you've done, your, your great innovations, new practices, you're pioneering all kinds of new innovations and new partnerships and relationships that you're forging as you work to provide for your students. You're using existing resources and tools in new ways and developing systems and practices that are wholly new and will continue, though, to provide benefits down the road. And many of you are also stepping up to support your wider communities as well. I want to give you an example. Around the holidays, the school nurses donated over 30 gift baskets to the hospital nursing teams in a show of support and caring. In addition, they contacted several radi local radio stations to solicit prayers for caregivers, patients, and their families. These gestures of kindness were incredibly meaningful and encouraging to our staff. And so I want to express my thanks for those kind gestures on our part. At Northside Hospital, we will continue to work hard to support you and provide your schools with the resources they need to sustain you in this period of uncertainty. While there's certainly been many challenges and more still to come, I'm impressed by and grateful for your efforts and your ingenuity. We still have much work to do to continue remote and in-person learning through the remainder of the pandemic and to provide the supports that students will need during the recovery. But all the things you've learned and all the innovations that you've pioneered will not soon leave you. I suspect you're building structures and practices that will probably last well beyond COVID-19 and will benefit students for many years to come. Dr. Bearden, I suspect that our school system will come out stronger than we ever thought we could be. But I'm not surprised by the speed, innovation, creativity, brilliance, sensitivity, and caring that you, our educators, have demonstrated during this crisis. It's illustrative of the way we've always operated in Forsyth County Schools. Education might look different right now, but 
The commitment and care you all have provided students and families is an ever-present part of our education system. I recently read this quote, I will teach you in a room, I will teach you now on Zoom. I will teach you in a house, I will teach you with a mouse. I will teach you here and there, I will teach you because I care. I think that sums up kind of what the teachers are doing, and more importantly, why they're doing it. I want you to know that on, be on behalf of the entire team at Northside Hospital for Scythe, we thank you and we encourage you to stay strong, keep the faith that you're making a positive difference, and be safe. Through the pandemic, our motto at Northside Hospital for Scythe has been, teamwork makes the dream work. And I hope you know you're always a part of our team. And as a matter of fact, we hope to see many of you tomorrow as we partner with the Department of Public Health and the school system to administer the long-awaited COVID-19 vaccinations that will help you stay safer and healthier as we boldly face a future where pandemic is a thing of the past. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. And I'm sure I speak on behalf of everybody here in person today and everybody watching virtually when I say thank you to our hospital workers, all of our first responders for keeping us safe over the last year. And Lynn, your leadership uh, has not gone, gone unrecognized. We appreciate you greatly. Thank you so much. We are honored to have dedicated partners in education. Our first partner in education award is the Mentor of the Year, sponsored by Publix. Hi, I'm Brenda Reed, Community Relations Manager for Public Supermarkets Atlanta Division. Public Supermarkets is proud to sponsor the celebration of excellence in Forsyth County. At Publix, we understand the value of education and the lifelong impact it has on our community. Thank you to all classroom teachers, administrators, and volunteers for your commitment to helping our young people grow and become productive citizens in our communities. Forsyth County Schools is fortunate to have outstanding mentors in each of its schools. This year's winner has been a mentor at her school longer than most staff members have been there. She partners with her mentee year after year to build a long-lasting relationship and builds connections with all students and staff. She is an encourager, an advocate, and friend to those who need it most. She also has an infectious laugh and bright personality that captures your attention. Please join me in congratulating Rosemarie Degarath the 2021 Mentor of the Year from Sawney Elementary School. At this time, please welcome Doug Jenkins with Georgia Power to present our next Partner in Education Awards. Doug? All right. Did I get it all in? I think I got it. All right. All right. Good. All right, thank you, Dr. Bearden, very much. And thank you for allowing Georgia Power to be part of today's event. I'm Doug Jenkins, Georgia Power's Metro North Region Director, and it is absolutely a pleasure to see everybody in the room today. A lot of you I have not seen for a year uh, in this same room last year. So uh, great to see you today. And uh, thanks, everybody, joining us online. Uh, this is easily one of Georgia Power's favorite events in, in Forsyth County. And you know, um, it was one of our favorite events before the pandemic. Uh, but it's even more special this year. Uh, I would be remiss, just like Lynn did, if I did not thank our teachers, administrators, support staff, and everyone else in our school system on behalf of the entire business community for the job you have done during the 
2020-2021 school year. You took on the impossible task of creating a safe learning environment for our children, uh, keeping students focused on learning while, while their families were struggling with tough situations, uh, including job losses, care of sick family members, etc., and managing ever-changing safety protocols. You know, but as usual, you did it. You were the role model of success. Thank you for taking on the impossible and truly being one of the heroes of this community. Because of you, the students in this county will be ready for the workforce of the future, and this county will continue to attract the jobs and industries that are searching for this high-quality workforce. So to go right back to where I started, this is one of Georgia Power's favorite celebrations in Forsyth County. It is the essence of why we support education across this state in many ways. And we look forward to continuing this partnership in the future. So thanks, thanks for allowing us to be part of this. So let's give out some awards. First, our 2021 Friend of the Year Award. A friend of the school is a partner that is involved in a specific event or activity. This year, we have two Friend of the School Award winners. The first winner has been a dedicated partner since before their car dealership was even built in Forsyth County. Since then, they have supported multiple schools, the Forsyth County Education Foundation, and they currently work very closely with Mashburn Elementary School. Recently, this partner provided financial support for a touchless water station to ensure safety when students return to school in the fall of 2020. The second winner has helped the overall emotional and physical well-being of staff and students at Lambert High School through their donation of therapy dogs. The, this partner originally donated Duck the Dog, which a lot of folks at Lambert are familiar with, to special education classes to support vocational development, communication skills, and gross motor skills. But their partnership has blossomed to the entire school, including working with CTAE programs on marketing and making dog treats. So please join me in congratulating Beaver Toyota from Mashburn Elementary School and Rucker Dog Training from Lambert High School, the 2021 Friends of the Year. Please give, give them a round of applause as they come up. Sincere congratulations to both of you. It's tough to follow a dog after that. <laughs> All right, next for our 2021 Volunteer of the Year Awards. The hundreds of individuals that volunteer daily in a Forsyth County school are essential partners in education. Today, we will honor one of these very special volunteers. This volunteer and her nonprofit organization have provided over 300 snacks every two months for students in need at Whitlow Elementary. Her commitment to collecting, delivering, and giving to the students consistently is a vital component of their school. Congratulations to, to Teresa Banker and Bridge the Gap for Kids, Inc. from Whitlow Elementary School, the 2021 Volunteer of the Year Award winner. Come on up, Teresa. now like to recognize a partner that's always been committed to serving our students, staff, and community. Once again, Northside Hospital Forsyth has been the title sponsor of our celebration of excellence since its inception. Please welcome back Lynn Jackson and Frida Hardage, who will be presenting the Silver and the Gold Programs of the Year Awards.
hairnet for Barbie, or it could be for the uh, for the microphone. So let me tell you about a silver level partner. They participate in at least two of the four areas to partnership success, which include improving academic performance, providing for education educators support and morale, enriching the life experience for students, and growing career opportunities. We will be honoring two winners today. The first recipient has supported multiple schools throughout Forsyth County for many years. They provided countless hours of free dental care for students in need and continued support to our school nurses. At South Forsyth High School, they've created internships for students, served as mentors for the CTAE Pathways, and they've committed annually the, to fund the South Forsyth High School Alumni Scholarship called the Inspiration Award. The second recipient is always willing to help at Midway Elementary School. Their employees serve as mentors, virtual guest readers, and guest speakers about their careers throughout the school. The company also provides funding for the STEM specials, and they're currently helping the school replace their school weather station. I didn't even know schools had a weather station, but now this one's getting replaced uh, by this partner. So please join me in congratulating Dental Town, nominated by South Forsyth High School, and Specialty Solve Specialty Polymers, nominated by Midway Elementary School, as our 2021 Silver Program Award winners. Dental Town. And to Solve Specialty Polymers. Congratulations. partnership award, the gold level partnership is a two-way relationship. However, they just step it up a bit and do even more. And so that we appreciate their commitment to the business community. This partner has been an integral part of the school culture since Brandywine Elementary opened their doors back in 2016. During the first summer before the school's opening, they gave a significant financial contribution which helped teachers move into classrooms, created a collaborative space for teachers, and painted and landscaped common areas. Each year, they make sure their partnership is meeting the needs and goals of the school through their partnering activities, which include purchased needed technological and playground equipment, creating a sensory room, donating snacks for students, and working in the car line. Please join me in saluting North Point Community Church as the 2021 Gold Partner of the Year. Congratulations and thank you to our award winners. What an awesome group of partners in education. Please, another round of applause for all of them. The Don Hendricks Partnership Award is the highest honor that a partner in education can receive. It is my pleasure to introduce Barbara Hendricks and Suzanne Saunders. I do it all too. 
This award was established in 2002 after the passing of my dad, a longtime member of the Board of Education. My dad lived a life of service to the community, and like those we are honoring here today, he believed in Forsyth County Schools and its quest for quality learning and superior performance for all. The Don Hendricks Partnership Award is awarded to the partner who best exemplifies the mission of the Partners in Education program and demonstrates loyalty to the school system and to the community. This year's recipient is a huge cheerleader for Forsyth County Schools. They're consistently supporting, attending, or encouraging an educational opportunity in the district. This business helped to kick off the Forsyth County Education Foundation in 2015 and has been a great advocate for raising funds for innovative grants in our schools. They've been a vital partner to the Alliance Academy for Innovation since they opened through providing time and resources for multiple career pathways. The success of the students and programs has been directly impacted by the involvement and contributions of this business. They also support the REACH scholarship, student leadership programs, and they're always available and willing to help the district and the schools in any way that they can. The impact they have made on Forsyth County Schools is lasting, and for their efforts, we honor Forte Data Systems as the 2021 Don Hendricks Partnership Award. well deserved no doubt at, at this point I have the honor and pleasure of introducing our current Forsyth County teacher of the year Jessica Younghouse Jessica has the ability to make learning fun and engaging even for high schoolers in advanced placement courses learning virtually Jessica has gone above and beyond this year to help with our first virtual graduation and new educator orientation Jessica Thank you for serving as our 2020 Teacher of the Year. Our program will now tr transition to Jessica Younghouse. On behalf of our teachers and school district, I would like to thank the event sponsors and those listed in the program for their generous contributions to our teacher gifts. I also want to recognize Andine Chevrolet, who provides the district's Teacher of the Year a new car lease. I have loved driving my Chevy Equinox. I now have the honor of calling the names of all of our school level Teachers of the Year and recognizing each of them for their hard work. Please join me in congratulating these excellent 2020-2021 Forsyth County Schools Teachers of the Year. Big Creek Elementary School. Hannah Tilden. Brandywine Elementary School, Angela Mays. Brookwood Elementary School, Maureen Paluzzi. Chattahoochee Elementary School, Mary Howard. Chesity Elementary School, Kim Sarfati. Cole Mountain Elementary School, Billy Treese. Cumming Elementary School, Allison Jones. Dave's Creek Elementary School, Cheryl Bryson. Hall Creek Elementary School, Brittany Berry. Johns Creek Elementary School, Jacqueline Krulia. Kelly Mill Elementary School, Christy Snape.
Mashburn Elementary School, Lynn Mashburn. Matt Elementary School, Lisa White. Midway Elementary School, Molly Asp. Pools Mill Elementary School, Gina Agenauer. Sawney Elementary School, Jennifer Warfel. Settles Bridge Elementary School, Courtney Atkins. Sharon Elementary School, Lauren Sarnacki. Shiloh Point Elementary School, Angana Gatte. Silver City Elementary School, Jessica Hammond. Vickery Creek Elementary School, Angie Ellenberg. Whitlow Elementary School, Anna Branshaw. DeSanta Middle School, Lacey Gooch. Lakeside Middle School, Jennifer Chun. Liberty Middle School, Jessica Whitlock. Little Mill Middle School, Sandy Foreman. North Forsyth Middle School, Lori Thomas. Otwell Middle School, Amy Bell. Piney Grove Middle School, Aaron Powell. Riverwatch Middle School, Amber Steele. South Forsyth Middle School, Katie James. Vickery Creek Middle School, Amy Atkins. Alliance Academy for Innovation, Jenny Gilmore. Denmark High School, Laura Adams. Forsyth Central High School, Jim Blandford. Lambert High School, Rachel Van Dyke. North Forsyth High School, Aaron Aponte. South Forsyth High School, Jonathan Aran. West Forsyth High School, Donna Duncan. Now we will honor our seven finalists by sharing a short video about each one. Kim Sarfati from Chesity Elementary. Yummy. And us make pizza, face 
pizza and us eat it all gone. I teach to create family. Um, to me, it's all about family. It's about the family I create in, within my classroom with my precious students each day. Uh, together we uh, play, love, laugh, communicate. Um, it's all about my students' families who share their precious treasure with me, um, our wonderful community family, and my amazing Chesapeake family. So teaching to me is being together and uh, forming one big happy family. Allison Jones from Cumming Elementary. What's not to love, really? She goes above and beyond and always gives 100% of herself. She advocates for the kids and what's best for them. She inspires uh, not just our students, but also the people on her team to always try their best and do their best. Why I teach? So I teach first because I love my students and I love this population and I love getting to see them grow year after year. Um, and I know that not a lot of people recognize how much they're able to do, so there's a lot of um, expectations put on them, and I love helping them see that they're able to burst through those expectations that people put on them. But I also love teaching and just being an advocate for inclusion and helping other staff and students in the building recognize just how important it is to have people with disabilities in their life and also just that they are able to establish genuine, meaningful, and fulfilling relationships with each other. So I teach to make sure that my students know that they can prove everybody wrong, but I also teach to make sure that um, we're fostering the environment of inclusion and making sure everybody knows that they belong. Christy Snape from Kelly Mill Elementary. Miss Snape is always my best teacher. She's a very kind-hearted person and understanding person. Um, she is responsible at work. She does a lot of hard working and she teaches in fun way. She's like my best friend. I teach because my kids are amazing. Every day in our class is a new adventure. It's filled with lots of passion, lots of excitement and love, perseverance in the face of struggle. Uh, and lots of laughter. <laughs> there is never a dull moment in our classroom. I teach because my students are worthy. They're worthy of a teacher who will provide them rigorous and compassionate instruction that will help them to reach their fullest potential and to achieve their dreams. I teach because I want the students in our community to know the true value of knowing somebody who is different from them. Because when you really know somebody and respect someone who is different from you, it changes the life. So we are, we're all in this world together, and I feel that every child deserves the opportunity to achieve greatness. Sandy Foreman from Little Mill Middle School. class in class she's she's an amazing amazing teacher she's like she likes to personalize learning for each, like every student each individual one she never leaves anybody behind she's not only an amazing teacher but a great mentor because I she, she keeps me on track she calls me out when we're when I'm in the wrong and she congratulates me if I did something correct, like she can write. She's impacted my life significantly more than any teacher I've ever been taught by. I can remember when I was in middle school, 
And I remember walking through the door and not knowing who I was and feeling awkward and feeling left out and even bullied. And so I wanted to be that for my students. And I feel like I am that for my students. I feel like my students come and find me if they need a hug or if they need a snack or if they need a band-aid or if they need a word of encouragement or even if they need some discipline they will come and seek me out so that I can be that person for them and I love it and I wouldn't change a thing. Katie James from South Forsyth Middle School. I've been a student of Miss James for three years and she, ever since the first day, she's motivated me and inspired me to learn more and get more creative with my writing and be more creative with my reading because in sixth grade I struggled a little bit in reading. She's been a huge inspiration and she's helped uh, all of her students to be inspirations to other students. She like motivates us to be better every single day. I teach because of the teachers and coaches I had when I was growing up in school. They were supportive, encouraging, challenging, and most importantly, they believed in me. I believe every student deserves to have somebody in his or her corner helping them along their path to greatness, and if I've had any role in that, then I feel like I've made a difference. Laura Adams from Denmark High School. With Miss Adams, she's here, like physically and mentally. She'll make sure that you understand the concept of what we're learning, and if we have questions, she'll answer them while going over it. We did this one project, and it's called A Mile in My Shoes. Some people, they made poems, some people made short stories, and people like me wrote a song. Um, it has something along the lines of me being black and my mom having to raise me all by herself. And I thought that it was really powerful to sing or write about something in that aspect because not everybody knows what you're going through and if you're gonna walk a mile in my shoes you're gonna fully understand what I'm going through you know so I felt like that was one of the best projects that we've done all year because I was learning about other cultures besides mine I want my students to know they can do anything that they want to do in life um, that they have an adult who believes in them and that they will they will have tough days and they will have days that they will have to persevere and push through, but that they can do it. And um, my passion is to instill a love of learning in ev into every one of my students' lives and to support them and help them to, to really give them that foundation so that they can, they can go on and become teachers themselves. Rachel Van Dyke from Lambert High School. What makes Miss Van Dyke so special is that it's just her positivity and her dedication to Lambert High School. She is just such a happy overall person and you could be having a bad day and then you go into her classroom and it's just 100 times better. And you see her working so hard in and outside of her classroom that all of her hard work for Lambert just does not go under this. Growing up, I had so many teachers that made an impact on my life. And I know that every person in this world, every individual has someone, some teacher that's made an influence on their life. And I grew up in the Forsyth County school system. And every single teacher I had created a positive impact to who I am today. Um, so I wanted to be able to come back and help create that same positive influence on our community and on the students in this um, area. Please join me in congratulating our seven Teacher of the Year finalists. 
I would love to introduce Kristen Morrissey, Chairperson of the Board of Education, for the announcement of the 2021 Forsyth County Teacher of the Year. It is truly an honor for me to introduce Forsyth County Schools 2021 Teacher of the Year. I'd like to share some excerpts from her application essay. My father was a wonderful role model. When he and I communicated with one another, I made sure he could see my mouth and I talked a little slower since he was deaf and understood language through lip reading. As I grew older, I noticed how hard my dad worked at communicating with others so he could continue working and building relationships with people around him. I wanted to help people communicate, understand, and interact with others in a positive way and see their abilities, not their disabilities. I wanted to help people realize their individual needs are unique and valued. I wanted to show empathy, kindness, love, and patience with all people and develop positive relationships. I wanted to help others learn in the best possible way using whatever means available. I wanted to be like so many of the wonderful teachers who touched me, whether it was through a positive word, an engaging lesson, a listening ear, a little extra time taken to explain a new concept, or a caring smile. My teachers, like my father, were such wonderful role models. They both taught me how little everyday moments can make a big impact. My dad, the people who interacted with him, our experiences together, and my own teachers helped me realize I wanted to help others and make a big impact by becoming a teacher, a special education teacher. We are now live at Chastity Elementary School. Please join me in congratulating Kim Sarfati, the 2021 Forsyth County Teacher of the Year. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> um, thank you all so very much. Um, what an honor it is to stand here before you today as Forsyth County Teacher of the Year. Um, thank you, Dr. Bearden, for your amazing leadership each and every day, especially this year. Your hard work and dedication <clears throat> provided choices and kept us together. Thank you for keeping us together as a family. It's an honor to teach in Forsyth County Schools under your wonderful leadership. Congratulations to all of the outstanding Teacher of the Years at each school and the amazing group of finalists that I was blessed to be a part of. What an honor it is to be included among such a talented group of educators. You all do wonderful things in your classroom each and every day, and what a blessing it is to teach in Forsyth County with you all. Thank you to our wonderful community members. Thank you to <coughs> to all of you and all that you do for our county each, each day. Your dedication to our Forsyth County school system is amazing and it takes us all working together to become better. And you help make us better with all of your support. So thank you community members. Thank you to my amazing principal, Dr. Tennis. What a privilege it is to work under your amazing leadership here at the T. 
the wonderful climate that you create at our tea helps us soar. And being a respectful, responsible problem solver is a special part of my heart that I treasure because of you. Thank you for believing in me and welcoming me to our special Chesity family. <laughs> Mr. Dugan and Ms. Gaines, thank you for your wonderful leadership and support. Our kids and I are so lucky to have you each and every day. Meg, thank you for your wonderful family that you create at RT. As our family engagement coordinator, you do amazing things here for kids, families, and our community and our school. We're so blessed to have you. I'm blessed to call you my friend. To my right-hand girls, Lindsay, Lynn, and Jill, who I'm blessed to work with, my wonderful instructional assistant and therapist, thank you for your amazing support that you give our kids and me each day. I couldn't do it without you girls. Your love, guidance, and knowledge makes us all better, and you make our classroom a wonderful place to be, our happy place. I love coming to school each day to spend my days with you. I love you, friends. To my special Chesity family, I love you all. I look forward to waking up and being with you each day. Thank you for making Chesity a wonderful place to be. From our leaders, teachers, instructional assistants, therapists, custodians, counselors, office staff, cafe staff, together we are all better. I love you all. <clears throat> Thank you to my mom, dad, and brother Mark for first teaching me about family. I remember many t family times that we spent together, and these moments helped instill how special family is to me. And Dad, if you're listening, and I, I know you are, thank you for teaching me that even though you were deaf, your abilities were amazing. And to my special family, my husband Jack and our kids, Katie, Matthew, and Michael, I love you all. Thank you for being my biggest fans. Thank you for all your love and support and for always being by my side. If I could choose one word to describe what is important to me in education, it would be family. It's all about family. The family that I create within my classroom, my students' families who share their precious treasure with me, our community family, our special Forsyth County, fam Forsyth County family, and my precious Chesity family. Together, we are one big family. And no matter what we go through, we are always stronger and better together. When students enter my classroom, it is a privilege being their first teacher. I'm going to share with you a few words that I would share to my students' parents. Thank you for giving me the gift of being your child's special education preschool teacher. Welcome to our preschool family. Your child makes my days brighter and better. She is a treasure. Thank you for sharing your precious treasure with me. I wake up each morning recognizing the privilege that I have of helping your child's ability shine. For there are no disabilities in our classroom, only abilities. I know it's not easy dropping your three-year-old off for the first time on their third birthday, 
especially this year during a pandemic. I will be down on the floor, eye to eye, face to face, engaging with your treasure. I know you may be worried, but she will make friends. She will learn to share with others, and she is valued and accepted. I will make sure she knows how capable she is, and she will know how much she is loved in our classroom by me and our Chesity family each day. I promise to send you pictures so you can see how much your child is loving school and how her abilities are growing. Your child's first school experience will be a positive one, for that is my responsibility as her first teacher. I am here for your child and for you, connected together, because we are one big family. Together, we will make sure your child believes she's a genius, because I know what she believes about herself now will shape who she will become in the future. I'd love to share with you a bit about my three children. Our daughter, Katie, was born three months prematurely, weighing two and a half pounds, and spent almost two months in the hospital. Ten days went by before I could hold Katie for the first time. During those days of waiting to hold her, I would stare in the incubator at her, surrounded by wires, tubes. I had feelings of awe, worry, fear, excitement, and wonder, many of the same feelings that you may have today. I saw ability. Katie is now a freshman at UNG majoring in nursing. Our son Matthew was born having seizures, one that even lasted 10 minutes long. When the doctor came in and shared the news that he didn't know how the outcome of his little brain would be after his seizures, I said, no matter what doctor, there is no disability. There is only ability. Matthew is 11 and a fun-loving, active boy who enjoys playing sports. Our son Michael was born a healthy 8-pound, 10-ounce baby. My classroom experiences with my students helped me recognize that when Michael was about 9 months old, he was not using his left hand much. Michael was not yet walking or crawling. So at his checkup, I was Michael's voice and talked to his doctor about my concerns. The doctor wanted to wait and see, and that answer was not good for my mom heart. A month later, Michael was diagnosed with cerebral palsy when he was a year old. Over the years, he's worn many braces on his hand and feet. He has had many therapy sessions, as I know your child may be experiencing. When Michael's eight-year-old voice says, Mommy, I can do it, when he catches a baseball, I hear his beliefs and his own abilities. I know when you saw your child's name and diagnosis on the first page of his IEP, it made it real that your child has special needs. I understand. I felt the same way at Michael's first IEP meeting. When you shared that one of your greatest fears is that your child's voice would not yet be heard because she is not yet speaking words, it made me think of my father. He was deaf. For many years, I was his voice, and I will be your child's voice. Whether through an electronic device, sign language, picture, or words, your child's voice will be heard. I work with a wonderful team of therapists, instructional assistants, teachers, and administrators at our school. Together, we build positive relationships, make connections, and collaborate with one another to help your child. Your child's abilities will shine. She is loved. Together, you and I will partner to share in her learning. I promise being her first teacher is a responsibility that I hold very dear to my heart. Welcome to our Chesty family. Thank you to everyone here today for coming together as one big Forsyth County family. What an honor it is to stand before you as Forsyth County Teacher of the Year.
Our family is excited to be here today to celebrate the, the accomplishments of all teachers. Thank you, Dr. Bearden and the Board of Education for your leadership. And uh, as I think about what COVID has taken away from us this past year, uh, it's evident that in this virtual setting, um, it's kind of even meant more to, to be able to see her and her, her peers around her just come together and be excited and to be joyous. So I mean, COVID's not taken away um, the joy that you can see that, uh, that they have. Um, so it's, it's always been a blessing for us as a partner uh, in the community with Forsyth County Schools um, by awarding the Teacher of the Year with a vehicle as a token of our appreciation. So on behalf of the Otwell family and Andine Chevrolet, I have the honor to present Ms. Safferty, the 2021 Forsyth County Teacher of the Year with this new Chevrolet Equinox. Uh, now we'll go back to Dr. Bearden at the conference center. They're going to have quite a party at the, at the tea this afternoon. There's no doubt about that. Congratulations to Kim on being named our 2021 Forsyth County Schools Teacher of the Year. I loved what she said, her quote about your child's voice will be heard. Every child's voice should be heard. That brings to close our 2021 Celebration of Excellence. Many of you have heard me say this before, the best school systems are the ones where home, school, and community work together as partners. I can't think of any other school district that is more blessed than ours in Forsyth County, Georgia. Thank you to our entire community for providing the resources and the support we need to be successful, that our children need to be successful. Our success is because of all of you. Thank you once again to all of our sponsors. Thank you for joining us. I look forward to 2020, 2020, 2022 when we can all be back together in person and celebrate with our Teacher of the Year. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day and a great weekend.